Hey, so from Groves to Smokers. I was busy catching some fish. So I thought I'd maybe give a little lesson on how to fillet walleye, or pickerel in Manitoba as we call it. Um, I usually start when I take out the cheeks, push them tightly up against the cheek, pop in a hole, sliding the blade underneath until you bottom out in the bone. And you feel around that edge, and you get right almost to his eyeball. You come around here, uh, this is open. There's a few little tendons there that kind of tend to want to hold on to the cheek. And you grab it and then it'll practically peel off, separating itself from the skin. There's the cheek. Now, so usually when you want to start a fillet, you want to start right at the asshole. Stick the knife in there. Not too deep so you don't tear up everything. Right up to the chest plate here. Now this chest plate, nobody ever realizes that there's a nice piece of meat in here. And first you want to cut in cut towards the head in the angle and this is going to consist of two bones yeah, you, there you usually pop a throat artery or something there's usually a squirt in that spirit. but then this is usually well it is always a flat piece of bone with a different style of meat in it close to the cheeks but that's the chest plate and there will be two plates of bone as you cook it but there's meat on both sides so you just toss that in there so now I know everybody does it a different way, but this is the way that I was taught now, or I kind of changed into it. Slice in, cut towards the head. So I got a little V on the top of the neck there, trying to pick up that last bit of meat. That's kind of turn your blade around. Then you're gonna start going with the thick back of the knife, trying to cut through, because you're gonna cut through a bunch of ribs right now. Right, those are those rib bones that you're cutting through. Now you're gonna come back up, and you're gonna cut almost to the end, till you're just about, it starts curving. Now you flip it up. See, look at that. Left no meat on there. It's all right here. Now I'm going to take this. We're going to hold the tail. We're going to cut slightly. Push the blade down. Basically, you're pushing the back of the blade down. Slide it across the, the skin. And then I'm screwing it up. Maybe closer to the edge. And then this, you should be able to just pull that fillet right through without losing too much meat. There's one side. Now we're just going to do one side so I can show you this now, this is what I was taught up north you take the you take the, the body you flip it down with the rib cage down you pull up the back side and you just basically hold the ribs flat against the, the board now you take your knife you cut above the ribs you're gonna start cutting through that little bone that we're gonna pick out later and uh, you slide along the rib cage and you go until the end and now you just basically glide your knife along the rib cage and you're using the bones as a guide and there you go just a little bit there but there's your rib bones done now there's your fillet now you're gonna make a set of pants right down here you're gonna feel down here and you're gonna feel as you go back with this way you can feel little bones there you're gonna cut a little bit on that side you can see the line that's your where your ribs came off of and you cut right there but you basically gonna look where those real ribs ended they ended right here that's as far as you have to go it's just right there on this side cut on that side take it all the way down and you separate this out separate this out slice that like that and there's your legs and now I just basically cut like this now you got a tail piece back, backbone back back strap there and you got the rib cage done there you go turkey growers and smokers go catch yourself some fishing go smoke a fatty while you're at it take care